everybody welcome back to the channel i am bringing something different today the minerva kit full review for the true bias patterns roscoe blouse and dress pattern the kit comes with fabric the pattern sewing needles and thread this particular pattern goes up to a size 18 has three different views and I will share with you today the view that I did. I wanted to give you a close up of the items that came into the kit. The kits are absolutely phenomenal. They include the pattern and they choose a gorgeous fabric from their range um, that you can sew the pattern in. The beauty about the kits is that they are fully customizable. So you can either click to add all to the basket or order the full kit or you can pick and choose which parts of the kit that you need. I have this beautiful Peacock Nebula Viscose Chally. It also came obviously with the needles, 7010 needle, which is a universal needle. And the fabric is roughly three and a half yards. I first started out by ironing all of my pattern pieces. You have to share with me, do you iron your pattern pieces? As you can tell, they were slightly wrinkled um, and most patterns come like this. Obviously, if you are buying a physical pattern, you definitely want to make sure, especially if you're using something like a viscose chally, you wanna make sure that all of those pieces are completely flat and even so that you do not have any type of distortion in when cutting out your pattern that also goes for these baby pieces <laughs> this was the neck band um, and couple of the other smaller pieces that needed to be um, ironed out as well I again I highly encourage you to do this before working uh, with your fabric then after I had washed the fabric which I washed this fabric on a cold cycle and did a gentle dry and then I went through and just ironed each uh, area of the fabric to make sure that it was nice and ready for me to sew up. Here you see me laying out the fabric, making sure it is even, making sure the grain line is straight because again, this is a viscose chally, it can shift on you. So you wanna make sure that you have everything laid out nice and neat. So here I am starting to cut out my pattern pieces. The only adjustment I made on this pattern was to add two inches to view B. That is the view that I wanted to do with the ruffle, but I didn't want it as long as view C. So I just stuck with view B and went ahead and cut everything out. And now I am going to jump right into the sewing. So here are the needles. I have never used Prim products before. I believe this is UK based um, company. And so I was excited to go ahead and jump right in. You just as the Schmitz, you just fold this part back and just pull out your needle. And then the thread, when I say they match this thread perfectly, this is a Guterman thread number 312. And it both worked beautifully for this fabric. I was very happy with how everything turned out with sewing this up. Now, here is the final look. I am so happy with it. I have this on my dress form just to show you some of the details. This does, this dress does have a gathered neckline and you do gather it into the top. And I want to show you the inside because I actually French seam this entire dress. Yes, even the ruffle part at the bottom. But here again, here is the um, gather at the top and here is the ruffle at the bottom that is also French seam. I really took my time. Some of it did come out a little pleated more than <laughs> gathered, but the look is still um, awesome. As you can tell, the um, sleeves are also French seam and the uh, bottom of the sleeve, it, it just turned out beautifully. The instructions were really easy to follow for this dress. You all know I like simple, throw over, no fastenings, no closures at all on this garment. And I do love how it is gathered in around the neckline. And I do suggest for a viscose chally or something similar that you do a French seam. And then at the bottom, I used a uh, bias tape that I have in my stash to finish off the hem. I absolutely love it. 
Now here is the wear of this beautiful dress. As you can tell, I have a couple different ways that I style this. So I did wear it with the belt and without the, a belt. You will notice a little chuckle here because it got very windy. <laughs> during taking these pictures and doing a little bit of filming, but I did want to give you a, a few close-ups of how this dress looks in movement and how I styled it. I absolutely love the length of the sleeves. Um, I typically don't go for anything that goes down to the wrist, but this hits well. It definitely hits above where I will wear any bracelets for this particular dress. Again, I love how flowy it is, and I absolutely love how this turned out. Thank you, Minerva, so much. As a brand ambassador, I will link everything in the description box. Please let me know which view do you like? Do you like it with the belt or without the belt? You definitely have to let me know. Thank you everybody so much for tuning in today and let me know in the comments, do you like this style of review? A nice voiceover real quick and simple and to the point, let me know down below. Have a blessed day, everybody, and we will see you in the next video.